Creating a box plot from a single list uh, of data. So we'll head into statistics and you'll notice I've already typed in the data um, supplied here. These are the ages of um, 10 Prime Minister of Australia or the age at which they became Prime Minister. Now for us, once we've got the data in, we need to check that we've um, got the right settings. So we're going to tap set graph. First job is to check that the only uh, selection is stack graph one. If graph function or previous reg have a tick in them, we'll untick them. Then tap onto setting, and this opens up where we can choose what type of graph. So the type uh, will be, um, we've got a whole variety here to choose from, but the one we're looking for is med uh, box here. And then everything else changes. So the list uh, of the numbers are in list one. We'll keep with that. The frequency is one. We've got an option to show outliers if we uh, want to. Now that's going to calculate one and a half times the interquartile range above or below the upper or lower quartiles. And then it'll flag any points outside of that range. Um, check that draw is on as well. When all is OK, we're going to tap set. Now the last step to draw in the graph is to tap onto this icon uh, in the top left corner. The screen splits and here's our graph. Uh, optional is to tap resize so that all you can see is the graph here. If I tap resize again it brings it back down into the bottom half here. Now once we've got the graph to trace along and find the key points of our box plot we've got a choice of either analysis trace which puts the cursor in at the end here, or this icon XY. Whenever you see this, this is always going to put the calculator into trace mode. So whichever way we do it, uh, we've got a, a marker on the minimum value here. You'll notice stack graph one is the one that we're looking at now. To move along through the other um, key points of the box plot, we're just going to come over and use the cursor key. So I'm going to tap once to move to the lower quartile once to move to the median, another time to move to the upper quartile or Q3, and one more time and we can read off the value of the maximum of our data list. When we're finished with the graph, we uh, simply come up to the top right hand corner, click the little uh, cross and we're done.